everyone welcome back to my channel so if you watched Friday's video my haul video I let you guys decide what type of video you guys would like to see kind of like a drugstore makeup tutorial or just a chit chat get ready with me <laughs> um, I've only done a chit chat get ready with me once before I don't really like how it turned out but I thought I would give it another shot so I did let you guys choose and <laughs> you guys chose the chit chat get ready with me I also even put a poll up on Instagram and it won I'm gonna give it a try <laughs> um, so I have a couple things that I kind of want to test out and play with um, some things I just bought today now I normally film at night so I have nowhere to go <laughs> That's why I really don't do the get ready with me's because of the fact that I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm literally just going to probably play around with Snapchat, acting like I'm a rock star, and then wipe it all off. Of course, I'm going to use my Sigma Eye Primer because, you know, this color is the discoloration. You can see the difference. Um, this side is... It hides the discoloration of my lid, which I love. It blends really well just with your finger. So today was actually kind of a lazy day. I didn't have anywhere to go. Um, my kids went to their dad's for the weekend. So I was kid free and I lounged around a lot because I don't get to do that very often. And um, I decided to go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat or if you follow me on Instagram, I did post like little mini videos of the palettes I got and the swatches. Um, for the cargo, it was the Cargo Cosmetics. This is the Tokyo in Bloom palette. I really love cherry blossoms, so this quickly caught my attention. It's just a really pretty delicate packaging. Um, and I also like the material of it because if it gets dirty, which it kind of did when I was swatching on it um, it literally just wipes right off so it did come with a brush which you know brushes and palettes can just be hit or miss I know I do not like the brushes in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes I think they're really just for such a great palette it's such a bad brush in my opinion I know some people who love the brushes like my best friend Carol she loves those brushes I actually have two of them for her so uh, the brush that this one came with I'm actually pretty impressed um, it is dual ended and it's got a really nice weight to it and the bristles feel really really soft and these are actually two little brushes that I would use I would probably put this for the inner corner or the lower lash line um, and this is kind of like for my outer corner blending so I'm probably gonna put this to use and I'm really excited about that. I know the Urban Decay, when they include their brushes, I really like those. Um, but the only thing about that is once I take the brush out, they made this so deep in there. It's like a huge hole, a huge gap. Um, I liked it better in the Anastasia palette where it's just kind of like a little dip. Um, but this just creates a hole, and I think that just kind of takes away from the palette. Um, yeah it's a little bit more of a cool tone palette uh looking at it it's got kind of like the light purples and pinks but i'm interested to see what i can create with it i'm not really sure it doesn't have like a neutral brown or anything so i'm just gonna roll with it so i think i'm gonna start with the shade mochi god i don't even know if i can pronounce all these names um which is that light purple and i'm gonna put this in my crease so the swatches actually were really good um, I was really impressed with the shimmer shades the the matte shades took a little bit building up but it, I only paid seven dollars for the palette it's not like it was a fifty dollar palette but it does have some really pretty shades in here so um, I just want to give you guys a heads up um, and of course I will mention it I will mention it in the future as well uh, this is probably my busiest month out of the whole entire year um, <laughs> my daughter is graduating from fifth grade which I cannot believe she is going into middle school it kind of like breaks my heart <laughs> 
next year I'm gonna have a high schooler a junior and my middle schooler my little sixth grader and then my youngest he's going to be in fourth grade so I'm gonna have one at each school but you know time flies it really really does and I really like concentrating on my family making sure that they're the first priority so she is graduating uh, on the last day of school which is a Friday it's the day I normally uh, upload and then the week after that is uh, my youngest son and my daughter's dance recitals and it is literally like a six-day event <laughs> um, so how it's set up is like they have like two three days of rehearsals because not all the rehearsals are on the same day and some of those days are, were there from like two o'clock in the afternoon to seven o'clock at night and you know minus the time that it takes to get there and dinner and whatever else it's just a really crazy time and then the shows themselves are two hour shows two to two and a half hours like they put on the most amazing production I've ever seen in my life um, something that you would actually pay to go see at, like the Fox Theater um, it's just a lot going on and I don't even know if I'm going to attempt to pre-film and have videos ready um, or if I'm just gonna say you know it's time to relax a little bit enjoy my kids which I'm not gonna lie is probably what I'm gonna end up doing that's a really pretty color but uh, recital week is the last week of May so if I do miss uploads it would be the last Friday of May which is May 31st and then that following Monday because we have a recital on Saturday we have a recital on Sunday and normally those are the days that I uh, film for Monday like I film on Saturday and edit on Mondays or whatever the case may be um, or whenever I have time throughout the weekend so now that I have like this light purple which is just so gorgeous I think I'm gonna take the darker purple which is this Sakura I'm, I'm not really sure it's the shade right here um, and I kind of want to put this on my outer corner and end the crease we'll see how that works out for you guys that don't know um, you know I do work full-time uh, I do have three kids and that is on top of everything else that they do dance and chorus and drama um, and upload try to upload three times a week I know lately I've been a little bit flaky but hopefully I can get back in line but uh you know I, I have a full life going on and I still really try and make time for my passion which is makeup and to me that's a really big deal because before I discovered my love for makeup which was only like three years ago okay seriously growing up I did not play with makeup I didn't really know anything my grandparents you know raised me I didn't they didn't get me makeup to play in uh, I was just always outdoors but before I discovered my love for makeup it was seriously just work in my family and while I love that I really didn't have anything for myself so once I found my passion for makeup it's it's literally like become my me time like this is when I get to sit down and enjoy myself and relax and it's like it's almost therapeutic it's I love the way that I can sit here and be like okay well I think I'm gonna put this with this and if this if it doesn't work out I can wipe it off it's like not a big deal um, you know and I love seeing other people's looks and it's just it's the whole thing the whole thing I love about it and it really is my happy space so now that I have that going these are really pretty and you know what they're not patchy they blend really well like I'm impressed like I know that not every single cargo palette is gonna turn out like this this is kind of like a hit or miss brand from my understanding but man this one is really really pretty so far <laughs> all right so I need something for the outer corner because I need to just break up that purple a little bit and the only dark shades I have are kind of like this kimono shade but that's shimmery and this Shibuya 
shade. So I think I'm going to put, obviously I'm going to put this matte one just in my outer corner. I don't think I'm going to drag it into my crease, but I'm just going to keep this in the outer corner. So, oh, this brush is so soft. Wow. Oh, wow. But that didn't really do anything. Okay, hold on. Oh, it, okay. It did some. Actually, a shy person. <laughs> I don't know if you would ever know that about me watching me online, but I really, really am. Like, I'm just so shy. Online, of course, it's a little bit easier. Um, but... So there is kind of a story that I want to tell you guys, and I know you've kind of heard me mention it before here and there, and I guess now is the perfect time to tell you um, what happened to my lip. So since I don't have any lipstick on, I'm going to show you guys. Okay. <laughs> so my lip is crooked right in here. You can see this kind of like extra skin is from underneath. I got like a dip. I got a dip right here oh it's just all kinds of jacked up so I don't have a lip line here or here and it's definitely not even I don't know so what happened is as a kid I was very adventurous I loved riding my bike I loved doing tricks on my bike and speeding and just like being a wild child so I was actually out and about riding my bike <clears throat> and it started raining and when I mean raining it just started pouring and it kind of came out of nowhere there was like no pre thunder or lightning to warn you that a storm was coming yeah it was kind of cloudy but it wasn't like turned dark gray or nothing it was just like whoosh all of a sudden just rain everywhere and I was going downhill at this point and apparently and I say apparently because I ended up passing out um, my bike my the front of my bike had slipped so I was going downhill and the front of my bike slipped and obviously I went face first now um, this was kind of at the bottom of the hill in the middle of the road and luckily a, uh, a fireman that lived in our neighborhood found me and he took me to my parents, which then took me to the emergency room. So I ended up busting two of my teeth. I completely busted my lip open. I like fractured my wrist. That's why I have this discoloration in my chin area. If you can see, I don't know if you can tell on there, but I have this permanent pink area right here. So you know how you get like a scar and then once the scab is removed, it leaves like that pink area till it changes that color to your normal skin. Well, mine never did. So I have this solid pink area here and then a little blotchiness here. Um, that's, <laughs> I have like scars in my head. It was just really, really, really bad. I'm really lucky that the fireman found me in the middle of the road. Um, <clears throat> and then I, <laughs> there was no cars flying down that road that day. Like that was just a blessing, but it did mess me up pretty bad. It's definitely become an insecurity of mine um, because when I smile, you can definitely tell when I close my lip and smile with my mouth closed, it doesn't close all the way. Like you still have this, this hole right here. And I don't know, you know, I guess I should be like, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's part of my history. It's, it is what it is. But, you know, it just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're just gonna, yeah. That definitely plays on my insecurities, but I try not to let it. So for my lid shade, I either want to go with cherry or blossom uh, because it does have cherry blossoms on the front. So I don't want to take it like too dark but I don't want it to be too light with just the cherry. All right, I think I'm gonna go with cherry. So if it's not too light, I'll just cover it up with blossom. <laughs> oh, this is what I do when I create looks. I always just pray for the best. I really don't have, I don't pre-plan 
I, I really maybe should. I don't know. Some people do, but I don't. I don't pre-plan. I literally just sit down, put my music on, and go for it and hope for the best. And that's pretty much what I've done. Sometimes I get lucky. Sometimes not so much. There are definitely some looks that I'm not proud of. But, you know, you live, you learn, you grow. And I think this is going to be too light of a shade. I'm going to have to go use this as, like, a different color. Oof. A little bit better. I can try it with my finger. Okay, the finger makes it a lot better. Maybe I should have used the finger with the first color instead, but I wouldn't know how to use this dark shade. So, is anybody doing anything fun for the summer? My vacation time is over because we go on spring break, so I'm not going to be taking any vacation time. Um, but I have two concerts in July I get to go to, which I'm so excited about. Now, I'm going to tell you guys who I'm going to go see. Even though you might think I'm a complete nerd, I don't care. <laughs> um, so the first concert is the... <laughs> New Kids on the Block, Salt and Pepper, Debbie Gibson, and Tiffany concert. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I have loved New Kids on the Block since I was like in elementary school. I have a picture of when I was a kid um, sitting on Santa Claus's lap in a New Kids on the Block sweatshirt. <laughs> so I have been a very, very big fan for a very long time. I've gone to several of their concerts, which... I love and I get a little bit closer each time which makes me really excited but for this concert and I just had a feeling that they were gonna go and con they were gonna do a concert and I just had a feeling they were gonna do a concert this year I have been saving up and I have front row tickets which is so exciting is the closest I've ever been to them and a meet and greet oh my god I have a meet and greet and um for the meet and greets, it's like groups of 10, and of course you get a picture, but you have to kind of like form these groups and fill the spots in the group with who you're going to stand next to in the picture. And I get to stand next to Donnie Wahlberg. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I need to calm down. Oh my god, I look a yes. So it'll be my very, very first time meeting them. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's going to be a bomb show. I love Salt and Peppa. Um, I like know every single word. <laughs> Shoot, what a man. Let's talk about sex. All, all that. Like, I love it. Um, Tiffany, of course, you know, I think we're alone now. She was like, didn't she like tour malls of the U.S. singing that song? Oh, and I don't think I told you guys, it also has Naughty by Nature. So that's, uh, it's called the Mixtape Tour. So all those guys are going to be in it, and it's going to be so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the next concert, hold on, let me think about this for a second. Uh, so the foundation that I decided to go with for today, is, I'm going to try the NYX foundation. Um, I haven't used this before. I just happened to grab a shade. I'm hoping it's my shade, but we will see. This is supposed to be a full coverage. I've never really used a full coverage before. <sighs> this could be a good or a bad thing. Okay, so I'm sorry. I had to cut off for a second so I could move on to foundation. What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I oh, yes. So the next concert I'm going to, uh, which is two weeks after that, is I'm going to go see um, Flo Rider, Nelly, and TLC, which uh, I've actually seen TLC before. In I've actually seen all of them before in concert. Uh, Flo Rider gives a 
amazing concert. He does so good. He really interacts with everybody in the crowd from all the way in the back. When I was at his concert, he had his bouncer. He got on his bouncer's shoulders and literally ran around the whole entire area like three or four times on this poor guy's shoulders <laughs> so he could interact with the crowd um, everywhere in the arena, uh, which I thought was very cool. Not to mention, you know, popping bottles, spraying champagne on everybody, throwing money out in the crowd, throwing flowers to the ladies. Like he went all out. Um, so that was really cool. TLC was really cool. I saw them when they were on tour with New Kids. Um, and so was Nelly. Nelly was on tour with New Kids as well. So that's when I saw them. Uh, they had actually performed. Uh, they were the openers. So this foundation is really light. I am looking like a ghost. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to bronze it up. <laughs> bronze it up. So that's going to be really exciting doing the concerts. That's my little gift to myself for kicking butt, <laughs> taking names as a YouTuber, mom, and worker. So that's a little gift to, that I gave to myself. And of course, we're going to be spending a lot of time at Whitewater and Six Flags. We do all the time. Um, sometimes when I get off work, uh, I'll just go ahead and change, take my kids to Whitewater for like two hours. And by the time we get home, it's always, can we go to sleep? I'm like, yes, yes, you can. You just got to take a shower first. That's always fun. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my concealer and my bronzer uh, because my husband was getting ready for work and he's just always like super loud. I don't know how I feel about this color. Um... It's really hard for me to color match, number one, because I have a yellow skin tone. Um, so just because I'm olive doesn't necessarily mean I need to make myself more yellow, which is what what the makeup industry thinks that's what that means when it isn't. Um, it's really, really frustrating. There's only a couple foundations that have uh, foundation colors that I can use. I know Maybelline is number one of them, NARS, and... Um, Makeup Forever has like my summer color. They don't really have like a, a winter color for me. And Hourglass. I've tried the Lancome. Even though they have like 50 something shades, they don't have a shade to match um, because of my undertone. Moving on. All right, so I'm gonna break out this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. I'm not really a fan of her brow gel. It just kind of makes my eyebrows crusty and I'm not a fan of that. I'm willing to give it a shot because I love ABH. Ooh, that is pigmented. I went with medium brown. I am so glad I did not go with dark brown. That would be way too dark. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Look at the instant color. Wow. Oh my gosh, you sorry. Sorry you guys. I'm like in awe right now. Like what the heck? What the actual heck? A lot of product on just one pull. Wow. Wow. That's like really thick. I'm not even sure I like how that makes my eyebrow look. It looks kind of gunky. Let's see what we can do here. It's so thick. Oh, this is not like the Gimme Brow. I think my eyebrows are... Okay, this is so dark. For medium brown, this is so dark. Maybe if I get a different color, I'll like it. It definitely makes my eyebrows more full than any other product I've used. Hmm. Okay, let's just finish off the eyes. I have to think about that. Just like the foundation. I'm up in the air with the foundation. I think... Um, 
now that it's on it does look nice it's not settling into my fine lines which is a huge plus like huge plus I think it is a little bit too light um, but it's hard for me to match foundations anyway just because of the fact that I have three different colors so my neck is a different color than here here is a different color than here so there's no perfect shade for me just because of the fact I'm like a spotted leopard or something but um, I don't know maybe I could pull this off in the winter time or bronze it up a little bit more we'll have to see with a full face of what it looks like so I'm going to go back in with the uh, Sakura and put this on my lower lash line that's really pretty okay I kind of want to put a little bit of the uh, Shibuya um, on my lower lash line. Ooh, okay, it's getting better, getting better. I definitely think that this is going to be a really good budget palette. All right, this is how I keep all my eyeliners. I kind of keep them all together here. I don't have a lot of space to work with um, because if you don't know, I actually film in my living room. I have to bring all my lights out, set everything up, film, take it all back down every single time <laughs> so I try and I don't know make things easy and accessible as much as possible I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I am trying to get rid of this oh it's taking forever um not that it like completely sucks but I'm ready to move on to a new one this one literally lasts forever and at first I liked it but now it's just like I don't know it's just it's not terrible I just I know I have better ones and I really want to get to those but I don't want this to go to waste so I'm literally trying to use it in everything that I do that's why you see it so much in all my videos it's just because I'm trying to get rid of it but it's such a big tube of mascara Ugh. all right so for blush I'm going to bring out all those tart blushes that I bought and don't use this is why I try not to buy new blushes if I can help it um, because I feel so guilty because I don't use these and look how many blushes this is but at the same time when I look for blushes these are like peachy pinks and even corals um, I look for more of a nude or even a berry color when it comes to blushes now Highlighter. I think the only thing that I brought out for highlighter, where are ya, is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter in the shade On the Cusp from with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Oh, it still smell, it feels really smooth. So pretty. Does anybody else put their highlighter on with their finger? I used to always apply it with a brush, but for some reason I've gotten to where I like it with the finger because I feel like I can melt it more into the skin than with a brush. Or is that just like me? Is that just like in my own head? So for lips, I kind of brought out like three different lips. I don't even know if I'm going to like them. So I have my Wet n Wild. I don't think pink is going to really work for this. So I have wet my Wet n Wild flirt alert and this is the melted matte liquid lipstick in freshly baked this is from the candy collection I know this is like a really crazy shade of pink the other two I have right here right now are Jeffree Star's can't relate but I think that's gonna be way too like pale pink I have a really hard time wearing that one or my band minerals XYZ which is probably going to be the winner yeah I think so
Okay, that'll work. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so for setting spray, I'm going to use the Pixi Glow Mist. I just got this. I kind of been into like doing this lately. I know, right? Um, I normally use like matte foundations. I really hope this doesn't mess it up. <laughs> I don't even know what it's going to spray like. Maybe I should prime it first. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Uh, how far should I hold it? Oh, that smells really good. I got a little bit up my nose. <laughs> Okay, feels very wet. So this is it for the makeup look. I actually really like how this turned out. Um, it's definitely really pretty. So hopefully I can film that Blue Blood palette tutorial I had for you guys very soon. Um, I wanted to do two looks with it at least. So that is definitely the plan. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. It was a lot of fun testing out all these new products. I tested out new foundation, an eyeshadow palette, a new glow mist, brow gel, if I haven't said it already. <laughs> there was a couple new things I got to try out. So that was a lot of fun. So thank you guys again. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.